Apple just announced its first XR headset, the Apple Vision Pro, after years of rumors and speculations. Despite being marketed as an augmented reality device, it's a VR device with a high quality pass-through camera, which is going to be used for immersive experiences. The device has 23 million pixels across two micro OLED displays with built-in LEDs for eye tracking and cameras, with 12 cameras in total and a LiDAR scanner and depth sensor. It runs on Apple's own M2 chip and brand new R1 chip that has spatial audio system built in to the head strap. I'm kind of curious how this stacks up, especially compared to the Quest 2 audio. While the exact resolution and refresh rates and field of view are unknown at this time, the device will not have any controllers, instead relying only on eye tracking, hand tracking, and voice commands for inputs, which is going to be absolutely wild to see how it holds up. It's likely to be suited for casual gaming, especially only having hand tracking and gestures to actually put an input. One of the big drawbacks of having hand tracking instead of any controllers is the lack of haptic feedback. However, this might make the gaming experience a little bit more in depth. However, also keep in mind this device is not primarily designed for VR gaming, but rather for virtual screens that allow for content consumption. Pretty much like a MacBook glued to your face. So it's going to be more for productivity and social interactions. It uses its own OS, which is going to be Called Vision OS. The device is ideal for relaxing activities such as watching movies, 3D movies, and TV shows, and kind of stuff like that. It can be used in pass through mode, allowing users to see the real world around them. And it's possible to do some of it right now with a PC and VR headset. However, I see this headset being used more for a professional use case, not just the casual gamer. Especially when you have the Quest 3 coming out, which is going to be pretty much everything you need if you just want some basic VR gaming done. The Vision Pro is also a new addition to Apple's ecosystem that seamlessly connects with other Apple devices, including keyboards, trackpads, and Macs. One of its unique features is that when you wear the headset and look at your Mac, the display is automatically transferred to the Vision Pro, providing a 4K virtual monitor. Another interesting feature is that the Vision Pro is integrated with FaceTime, allowing you to create a digital avatar of your face using the 3D cameras on the front, which can be used for FaceTime calls and meetings. And there is some other really cool features, such as it has EyeSight, which displays your eyes on an external OLED screen on the front of the headset, making it more natural when you interact with others while using the headset. It also allows you to capture 3D spatial memories with its 3D cameras and spatial audio. Although recording moments with the VR headset might seem strange, it has its potential to be very beneficial. Overall, the Vision Pro is an exciting addition to Apple's ecosystem with many interesting use cases for developers to explore in the future. However, if you do want to try one when it does come out, demo units will be available in all their Apple stores after release. The Vision Pro is one of the most interesting products so far and I can't wait to see it, but its pricey point may put it out of reach for most people. Nonetheless, it's pretty cool that Apple's actually creating the very best AR headset possible with their tech available. For those looking for a cheaper option, there are plenty of gaming VR headsets available on the market, the Quest 2 and soon to be Quest 3. So if you're more into gaming, those are definitely going to be what you want to go for, not this. Nonetheless, Apple's entry into the XR industry is a really big deal, and it's really exciting to see what developers can do with this new tech. And of course, if you enjoyed this overall roundup of this information, please leave a like and let us know your thoughts in the comments. Is this a headset you would buy 